Hello and welcome to part 4. Let's play a elemental bustle build. In the last episode I made it to a cavern of uh, anger, I think it's called. And today we're gonna defeat Merville. Ah, it's cavern of wrath, I'm sorry. See if we can defeat Merville with no problem. I think I can do it. The damage we do are really good actually. Of course if you were if you're playing with a party, you I don't wanna I don't gonna get I don't uh, go into one hit the enemies. They yeah, have a pretty dangerous enemy, uh Amiria, so I think it's called. Dodd of Merrill can be dangerous, especially if you are melee, using lightning strike and shoots spark against you. More blue packs, that's pretty nice. I think it's going to lead to a corrupt area. Or maybe not. Not so many enemies here. Get a portal scroll. to kill you. <laughs> Large life flask. That's actually nice. I'm gonna use that. I hope it have a good roll. Extra charge it is good enough for me. Get rid of my medium life flask. It's not worth that much. Oh, if I gotta say, it's completely useless right now. I I can actually say that I'm always forget forget to upgrade my flask, my flaskers, when I play. I can say that right now. I forget that all the time. All right, we have uh, rich Kevin of Kevin of anger. Merrily should be near. Oh, Spectator is so fun to use. Think one or two enemy T and I get my level. Or maybe not. There we go. He's dead. I got tech skin, so I am just gonna take these three life nodes here. Then I'm gonna go up, up, and take charisma. That's my plan. traps so I have nothing against that. Chance of that's pretty nice. Spectral level up. Good times. Uh, 
Yes, Merville, I am not gonna yearn you, but I'm gonna kill you. Ouch, that actually hurts. I should actually not stand here and just tank that damage, but I don't didn't want to move out of the way and I think I can face tank a lot of enemies so I'm not that afraid of them it must be here somewhere here it is if you see the gold on the ground you have uh, find the right place if you see the gold on the ground and these treasures here you get you have found the Merville now for safety I like to just have a portal up Wait a second, let's get something more fancy. I should actually equip a fire resist, uh, cold resist ring. Let's go into melee. So I don't need to deal with the goddamn uh, frost spear, ice spear. This is no problem. I can stand here all day, Merville. Yeah, you almost dead. Now we're gonna fill my speckle throw. And now I don't get the mana. Merville's second form. He is, he is in right now, it's a yoke actually, it's so easy. I don't need mana to defeat you, Marvel. Let's see what we got, we got some gloves, a sword, that can actually be nice. So let's see what we got here. That sword is actually pretty nice. It doesn't have that high attack speed, but... Mm, and but it have double the damage and it is actually mana and hits so actually think I'm gonna uh, 51 yeah give me some damage boost I ain't gonna use it this one is a clear accurate it's a, it, it have like everything more than the other one I have it's like crap in comparison so we don't need that one and now we have reached act 2 And here we have, I want to say this is a pretty fun area just to get some XP. It's so many enemies and they are not dangerous, at least not when I playing. And they are pretty fun to kill. The only problem is they are pretty scary. They are actually running away when you kill many of them. That's pretty annoying. I guess they get scared when their friends get slaughtered. Let's bunch up a hole. Oh, there are not so many. I don't care, I chase you, you need to chase me. You didn't die by a creep, that's pretty interesting. I really need multi great multiple projectiles, so uh, I I have forgot what quest or what you you get it on. I don't gonna have the mana problem so much longer. I'm gonna swift to blood magic, but not right yet. I think I'm gonna swift to blood magic when I, uh, I reach level 30 or something. Oh, nice! A chaos orb. Really, really nice. That's some upgrade for my currency. 
I really love hitting uh, enemies with crits when <laughs> you are used doing ice damage. It's so much fun to see the enemies shadow into million pieces. So many enemies and so little mana. These apes have resistance against fire, but I don't care at all about that. Large hell life flask. I can equip that. It's a straight upgrade. You are dead. Durstrike doing almost 150. Not 1000. One 150. I mean with that. And I got my level. And I'm gonna use it on more life. It's good actually to have some survivability in the beginning before you go in for the fun part which are which are getting the damage bonuses. to the old field I think I'm gonna do the great white beast and I really like saying that word it so sounds funny I'm gonna kill the great white beast if I only can find it Chancel, that's pretty nice. I could chance something, but I gonna I got storm coal. That's actually a really good magic. Feel my double strike. enemy for this place. It's Gnaze. He can actually be pretty tough actually when you go into later game. He's actually pretty tanky. I think that uh, they call him Gnaze actually. And I like it. Here we have the den where the great white beast dwells in here. It's actually a pretty good farming pl uh, place actually. Lots of enemy. I can throw things too, monkeys. But my things are much sharper and that's and it hurts even more than your little rocks do. Ooh, you're hurting me. I can get out of the way. I always pick up the yellow items, if even if I do not don't need them. Maybe they are an upgrade, you never know. I can't remember what crest reward you're actually gonna get by doing the Great White Beast for the first time. I got an aura. I want to use the wrath, but I, there are no reason not to equip. I don't have a slot for it, I can see that now. So I'm gonna save it for later. I 
I'm going to need the anger area, area. So I think I'm gonna go to PUE.XUE to get one. This is Crota. I don't know the, the boss in this area either, actually. I can't remember. Yeah, we have the boss. But I don't know where this is yet. Need to kill this. Giant hexproof ruin titan enemies. Hexproof means they can't be they can't have a curse on them that are of the name hexproof. I soon get a level. And there we have a chromatic item. Oh it's him. Uh, he's pretty dangerous actually. You want to do strike me? Or flick and strike me. I gotta do strike you. What do you think about that? You're dead. I got frostbite and a run chilled. And what do I get from the Val vessel? Val ground slam. Ah, I don't know. I don't think I actually gonna need that at all. Why keep it? Hmm. That can actually be upgraded. And it is much better than that crap. Shield, uh, scepter. I don't gonna need scepters. But I can sell it and get some currency for it. Let's hunt down the great white beast once again. And I got a level more life. And a dead end. All this running around. Dead end again. I hear a shrine here. A lightning shrine. Soul conduct. Uh, I think it's the, the mod who re. Yep. What was that? The mod who re resurrect all the dead enemies. That's not a mod I'm afraid of. Oh, 
I want the lightning shrine. It's a really a shame that the lightning shrine don't uh, have that really huge AOE effect as it have when uh, it's all on the shrine. I hope this is the right way. It was not the right way, again. That's unfortunately. Here we have him, the great white beast. He's actually hitting pretty hard, so I don't want to get near him. But I have a lot of survivability, so whatever. I can tank him forever. Almost. And time for quest reward. I walked away, so I'm actually gonna go and get the waypoint. My favorite thing to do in Act 2 is actually go for a one way forward question. I'm gonna explain that in a little bit. What it is for quest and why I used to do it. Crossroads. <laughs> if you're just following the road, you're gonna find the. Uh, yeah, there. Basically, the roads lead to the place you need to go. Yeah, we have our waypoints, so let's head back to town and get our quest reward. From Yuna. Yuna. I got a belt, I'm actually gonna... Hmm. I'll take this one, get some more life. Let's see if it's something good. It's not that good, but it's better than what I have. My damage is going to be low now, but I am going to get some more HP and even some strength. I'll get some more life for it. And that's not bad. Yeah, sell that one, sell that one, sell that one. If I'm selling, uh, once again, if you're selling items who had free link sockets of every color, it can be more than a free link. You just need to have linked and uh, and all the colors. It doesn't matter what order it is or anything like that. Just get that item, then sell it, and you get a chromatic orb. I'm just gonna stash up these items once again. I don't gonna use my leveling gear. This is just what I can find on this character. Maybe actually gonna use an anger. I have an anger gem on my. Character, I'm maybe actually gonna use that one. Maybe. That's some really fancy stuff you got there. Uh, you got there. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do the quest, which is called. Uh, I think it's called One Way Forward. I don't have the quest right now. But I'm gonna get down here to open a seal. I, I tell you more when I get there. It's a, a little bit to walk. walk. Try to be efficient, killing the enemies. Throw some spectral throw behind me and we just walk. A blue enemy. Currency you always need to want to go back for.
slowly walk my way forward. There are so many enemies here. Yeah, by the way, if you ever had had a problem finding the way to the Val Ruin, what you're gonna look look for is this here. You see these two stone pillars here? This is a road here. If you're following this uh, overgrown road here, you will uh, find the entrance to the Val Ruin. Actually, a really pretty long way to go and walk here. But I like to do this quest actually beginning whenever I play a new character or when I play uh, when I actually playing and first get to act uh, to if it is or merciless or if it are uh, cruel. I just like to do this quest directly, and now I got the life right. Now we're gonna head up in the skill tree to get the aura cluster and then things start to get interesting. And now we found Blackwoods. Here our road for now ends. Another orb of chance, that's not bad. I like it. And here we found our waypoint. So many enemies here. Hmm, a photo scroll, always good to have. More devourers, they're actually pretty dangerous enemies. These snakes, or what you want to call them, they are also pretty, pretty dangerous. life flask. I don't need that right now. And here we found a way into western forest. point. Now I'm really close actually to the quest to do the one way forward quest. Get a really good quest reward. 
Ah, the Orbo Fusion. That's not bad. And now I get a lead iron scepter. It's not a lead scepter. It's actually pretty good. But it's too slow for me. Attack speed. Come so enemies. need to be careful. Yeah, once again, this way here lead to one of the other quests. And uh, I'm gonna take that later. I'm gonna do the this quest up here first. It gives you some uh, extra skill it gives uh, one extra skill point and if you ask me that's one of the best quest rewards in the game this will just start to get long long so i'm gonna wrap wrap this up soon I always pick them up. A level. Alright, Captain Artillery, bring it on. See how good you are with the sword. You are pretty good actually. That hurts. It hurts a lot. But I have something you don't have. I have healing potions. And you activate it there, and then we're gonna get back, go back to Act 1 and get the quest reward. You need to open it, opening it there, there to get the quest rewards. I'm going to show it. Act 1, Linus, watch. Talk to him. And he give you Book of Skill. Now I'm going to head up here and here. I'm going to get this one as soon as possible when I get here. I just take this one. And I'm going to continue up here. Take this one. This one, this ones. Take the, these two. Get these two here. But that will be a later episode. Thanks everyone for watching, and I hope you see you next time. Take care, everyone.